John Sherwin, built in 1957, been parked here since 2008 or uh, or thereabouts. It's had its engines. It's that's when it came out of service, and it had its engines removed from coal-powered steam turbine to uh, supposedly go to diesel. And when they ran into economic trouble in 2008. Well, I mean the economy. I don't know about the Interlake Steamship Company, but um, I'm guessing that had something to do with why it's still here. You can look right in there and see the bow thruster. Additionally, this boat was lengthened in 1972 by uh, about 90 feet. And I was looking for some kind of marks because sometimes you can tell and there's nothing. So it was a, there's no marks I could see. So it was a really cool, uh, job well done on whoever did that also these that might be the water line from when uh, it's fully loaded they're drastically different when they're fully loaded um, they look like they're almost could be sinking there's one I was driving right behind in the Mackinac Island Passage and a boat about this size fully loaded moving at about 15 knots and when you get behind it and follow it, it's like you're on a treadmill, the water is moving around you, and uh, uh, the boat's kind of holding still and bobbing around like a cork. It's not, nah, I don't think it's really dangerous, but it's uh, it's kind of a fun sensation. I was also thinking those marks might be from the locks, the Sioux locks, but pretty interesting to look at this boat that's been here traveling the Great Lakes. for the better part of a uh, century. Uh, look at that. You can see that scoring and pitting along the bottom there. You gotta wonder how much life is left in it. You know, what do they end up doing with it if they don't dis dis make a decision to repower it? I don't know if it, where they do ship breaking in the Great Lakes, but there probably is a place. You like this, Ted? Also, I'm thinking there must be electricity hooked up to this boat to run pumps at some point because it's going to accumulate water. Um, I'm going to have to, I'll put the link in the comments and more details and links to information about the John Sherwin. But um, we are just north of Detour. I don't know how often the water is like this around here, but it's amazing. It's about 72 degrees and no wind. Got a stern thruster right there, it's sitting a little bit lower. Um, it's got a, about 20 more feet of draw it can go down. And then I thought the fan tail was really neat looking stern anchor and these classic lines. I think it's a really neat looking boat. It's kind of uh, hope that it's something that used to have a good, uh, good boat. <laughs> good boating career ahead of it. But they've taken most of the stuff off of it. Randall Lake Steamship Company is one that has got, it's one of the more major uh, I think it might even be the number one Great Lakes Shipping Company. Another interesting thing too, I knew it was a uh, Interlake Steamship Company boat because of the color on the stack. They all have the same stack. Black with an orange stripe in the middle. Probably would have been cool to see this going with 100 coal power back in the day. I read online also it required two guys just to, their only job was to shovel coal. One, <laughs> one transports it to the, the first guy transports it to the second guy from the 
cold bin or wherever, and the, the second guy just throws it in the, in the boiler. Interestingly, also right over there, we went yesterday to Lime Island, and it was once a refueling destination for uh, all kinds of ships in the Great Lakes, and when you're camping there, they said, do not, ha only, do not have fires on the ground because there's coal everywhere that's going to catch fire. <laughs> And the last thing we're going to show you is over here, we're heading south to Detour right now. We're just north of Detour and um, the eastern tip of the Upper Peninsula. That's St. Mary's River over there. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but the other side of that little island is Drummond Island. There's a, dozens of little cool little islands out here. But the last thing we're gonna show you here is this kind of famous house. I haven't um, done much research on this one, but feel free to comment below if you know anything about it. So that was the John Sherman, this is the John Boardman. And uh, there's a guy up there on that scaffolding working on something. Supposedly this was a real ship and they cut the front off it and made it into a house. So maybe he's, maybe he's turning that one into another one. Look, the two, John, Sherman and John Boardman, man, he's got a big job up there on top of that thing, bringing that bucket up there. Some kind of mast that was on the ship. So that's the kind of thing you see here in the upper Great Lakes. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess we're kind of in the middle of Great Lakes over here on the eastern end of the UP. In the beginning of August. That's this tugboat little tube.